But across the north of England, there existed an alternative club circuit for artists with less international acclaim. Northern Soul prized obscure singers who'd never escaped the regional circuits back home and were brought over to a hero's welcome inside our decaying provincial theatres. I was informed that some of the songs that I had long forgotten about that I had made were being played by a northern soul scene in the northern part of the Midlands of, uh, of England. And I said, well, seeing is believing. I, I really couldn't understand or comprehend what was being told me. I actually had to see it. And when I saw it for myself, I said, hey, these folks are committed. She stands by me, tall and one quarter. She weighs 122 in the hair. She's got good things and good order. There's not These all-nighters would flourish throughout the 70s, dedicated to collecting and curating rare American soul. These records were often reissued and bootlegged. They wanted an original, they wanted a record that was so rare. A bit like you would buy a Mona Lisa if you were an art collector, but you wouldn't want a reproduction one hanging on your wall. People didn't want a record that was reissued, they wanted the original American issue that was so rare. So they made enormous personal sacrifices to get them. They gave the music a new identity. The artists that made them never dreamt there'd be thousands of people in the north of England, you know, thousands of miles away, dancing to them on a dance floor in cool fashions and, and really into the music. It became a mind-blowing cult. So take away these chains that are bad in me because I want to be Northern Soul offered white working class fans what the rest of life denied them. You get away from the rest of the world, you get away from your week's work. You're in your own little world, you know. You're not dancing with a girl, you're not dancing to show off, getting some folk do it, but you're just shutting yourself off, the rigor gets into you and you just let it go, it's pure escapism. So everything is orchestrally hammering out this beat that makes you feel good, and the reason it makes you feel good it's because the musical chords behind the beat are giving you a very wistful, optimistic, uplifting kind of music behind the sledgehammer beat, and therefore creating something quite unique and different. The Northern Soul scene became their religion. They would work in mundane jobs overall, most of the North of England. They were working in, in factories and they were working in laundrettes and things, living for the weekend, saving their money up for the week, doing nothing, not even going out during the week. It was like a metamorphosis, like a Jekyll and Hyde, uh, almost schizophrenic life where your Saturday night was so different to the rest of your week. That was the whole reason for putting up with the mundaneness of, of factories in Wigan and Accrington and Oldham and all these miserable, dreary places. The All Nighters offered soul addicts the chance to dance the night away. But this was black music driving a white scene. Their new black neighbours weren't exactly welcome. North and Soul. There ain't a black person there. You know, I remember trying to go up north and, and be involved in these parties and stuff like that. But um, you just really wasn't welcome. And I think, again, down south, it was a little bit more of a melting pot type scenario. And really and truly, as I think about it now, you know, Shit, it's a good thing I didn't get into them clubs. Northern Soul also reflected the fragmentation and divisions in society.